Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana with Pragmatic Works, and in collaboration with MAQ Software, we're bringing you today's video to announce their new custom visual known as Sunburst. Now, the Sunburst visual by MAQ Software can allow us to break down hierarchical data with color coded concentric rings. Now, along with a plethora of various different formatting options, one being coloration, we can very easily distinguish between categories. And the way it's displayed is very much like a radial tree map or even a multi tiered pie chart. And along with a fantastic animation feature, this visualization can allow us to discover patterns within our data that might otherwise go unnoticed. So let's dive right into Power BI and take a, a closer look at the Sunburst visual by MAQ Software. Here we are inside Power BI. Taking a look at this new visualization, this new custom visual, Sunburst by MAQ Software. And as we can see, as mentioned, very much radial tree map or as well multi tiered pie chart. We have the visual currently selected, and if we look at the field area for mapping capabilities, we have three available areas to us. We have the category field, which has a maximum limit of one column. You can see currently we have the IT area. This is what populates the inner ring of the Sunburst visual. Then we have the subcategory area, which can have a maximum of 10 columns in here, and this creates the following rings in the ordinal positioning as they are placed within this area. And lastly, of course, we have the measure, which will dictate the sizes of the various different groupings, and that is going to be at a maximum of one column here. So we can see our legend matches up with what our category item is, and this can be shown or hidden as you would expect with any of the visuals you've used up to this point within Power BI. But as we can see above hovering over this visualization, not only does the sunburst visual support traditional tooltips, but here we're seeing it also supports report page tooltips. We as well have the capability of leveraging drill through items. So as we can see, just clicking through, We'll go and have this table here be drilled through using that func the IT area. As well, you can leverage bookmark features. So all the way through report page tooltips, drill throughs, as well as bookmarks, all fully capable. But something unique and special to this visualization is this really fun animation capability. Now, as you click, as you can see with from a report page tooltip and anywhere in the arc, it'll become the focal point. So now I've picked the outermost ring within that specific business area, that function area, which was office and administration. With a tooltip, if we weren't using this one, which is giving us information, if we see just here, if I select and we go and we change the tooltip to just being the default, we could of course see this information and see the details of it. So we can see the value. The center dot here, the center ring is going to be the next tier, basically the next arc that was inside of this. So when we click that, that comes into fruition and we can more easily view this. And then when we click it one more time, we get to the lowest tier and we get expanded out the other areas within those subcategories. And one final selection in the middle area brings us back to the beginning. So this really neat functional capability of animation can be toggled on and off. If you were to toggle this off, which simply can be found just here in the formatting area, now any selection, rather than doing that animation that we just saw, actually leverages the cross filtering functionality that we all know and love within Power BI. So you have really two ways to leverage this capability. As well, if we wanted, we could add further information with the usage of detail labels. Once again, this can be found inside of the format area, and you have complete control over the font, the size, the decimal places, display units, everything all at your disposal here under the details label area, which can be toggled on or off. Also, as you can see, there is a capability where we can discuss or specify, and this is located under configuration, the size of the radius. You'll notice that this radius for this sunburst is actually smaller than the one on to the left. And that's simply because of a choice of made for that radii. So you can control the scope and size of this depending on how many categorical values that are input into this. Other configuration options that allow us to affect how this visual presents itself is going to be found once again in that configuration area. Once again, display area, configuration, and you can see that we can control the corner radius, which in this case has been increased to a value of 10, which can be indicated in the separation here. 
the different locations in between each of these categories. We now have this kind of radial information, this curvature between it. We can also add padding, as you can see here, between each of these arcs. So in here, it's just been 0.02 has been added. But as you can see, as we increase this number, it'll increase the size between each of the arcs. And then, of course, we do have the control if we want to have a, a more defined barrier between these arcs, you can control the stroke color. As well, we do have the center area, which displays the total value of this entire arc, which as you can see, there is an area once again in the formatting, which can be turned on and off. We can control how it's going to be displayed. So if we would like to see more information, we could just expand that, control the font, the font family, the size, and in the configuration, you can control the fill of this visualization. So along with all of these capabilities, we have a fantastic new custom visual in the Sunburst by MAQ software. So hopefully you enjoyed, and thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this visual or need a similar business solution, feel free to contact MAQ software at sales at maqsoftware.com. As well, for any of your Power BI training needs, be sure to reach out to us at PragmaticWorks by emailing training at pragmaticworks.com. Thank you.